Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on three-phase three-wire AC system. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine line currents for a star-connected unbalanced load when it is fed from a symmetrical three-phase three-wire AC supply using mesh current analysis method. If a symmetrical three-phase three-wire AC supply has phase sequence ABC taking line voltage VAB as reference we can write VAB equals to VL at an angle 0 degree where VL is the magnitude of line to line supply voltage. VBC equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree and VCA equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree. Now we shall redraw the star connected load. Let the mesh currents be I1 and I2. Applying Kharshov's voltage law from mesh 1 we get ZA plus ZB into I1 minus ZB into I2 equals to VAB. This is our equation number 1. From mesh 2 we get minus ZB into I1 plus ZB plus ZC into I2 equals to VBC. This is our equation number 2. By solving these two equations we get mesh currents I1 and I2. Let the line currents be IA, IB and IC. Here line current IA equals to I1. IB equals to I2 minus I1 and IC equals to minus of I2. Three non-reactive resistors of 5 ohm, 10 ohm and 5 ohm respectively are star connected to a three phase 3 wire 230 volt symmetrical system with phase sequence ABC. We have to determine the line currents. Let us redraw the star connected load. Now we shall write down the given data. Line to line supply voltage VL equals to 230 volts. Taking line voltage VAB as reference for phase sequence ABC we can write line voltage VAB equals to VL at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 230 volts at an angle 0 degree. VBC equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree. That is equal to 230 volts at an angle minus 120 degree. And VCA equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree. That is equal to 230 volts at an angle plus 120 degree. Given per phase resistance of the resistors, RA equals to 5 ohm, RB equals to 10 ohm and RC equals to 5 ohm. Let the mesh currents be I1 and I2. Applying Kharshov's voltage law from mesh 1 we get RA plus RB into I1 minus RB into I2 equals to VAB. Using values we get 15 times I1 minus 10 times I2 equals to 230 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. From mesh 2 we get minus RB into I1 plus RB plus RC into I2 equals to VBC. Using values we get minus 10 times I1 plus 15 times I2 equals to 230 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. We have obtained 15 times I1 minus 10 times I2 equals to 230 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. And minus 10 times I1 plus 15 times I2 equals to 230 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. 
by solving these two equations we get mesh currents i1 equals to 24.341 ampere at an angle minus 40.8934 degree in cartesian form this may be expressed as 18.4 minus j times 15.9349 ampere and i2 equals to 24.341 ampere at an angle minus 79.1066 degree in cartesian form this may be written as 4.6 minus j times 23.9024 ampere let the line currents be ia ib and ic here line current ia equals to i1 equals to 24.341 ampere at an angle minus 40.8934 degree and ic equals to minus of i2 that is equal to 24.341 ampere at an angle plus 100.8934 degree here ib equals to i2 minus i1 using values we get minus 13.8 minus j times 7.9675 ampere this may be written in polar form as 15.935 ampere at an angle minus 150 degree a 440 volt symmetrical three phase supply with phase sequence ryb fits a star connected load consisting of impedances ZR equals to 5 ohm at an angle 30 degree ZY equals to 10 ohm at an angle 45 degree and ZB equals to 10 ohm at an angle 60 degree we have to determine the line currents let us redraw the star connected load now we shall write down the given data line to line supply voltage vl equals to 440 volts taking line voltage vry as reference for phase sequence ryb we can write line voltage vry equals to vl at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 440 volts at an angle 0 degree VYB equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 440 volts at an angle minus 120 degree and VBR equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 440 volts at an angle plus 120 degree given par phase load impedances zr equals to 5 ohm at an angle 30 degree in cartesian form this may be written as 4.33 plus j times 2.5 ohm zy equals to 10 ohm at an angle 45 degree in cartesian form this may be written as 7.071 plus j times 7.071 ohm and zb equals to 10 ohm at an angle 60 degree this may be written in cartesian form as 5 plus j times 8.66 ohm now we shall calculate zr plus zy using values we get 11.401 plus j times 9.571 ohm in polar form this may be written as 14.8858 ohm at an angle 40 degree and zy plus zb equals to 12.071 plus j times 15.731 ohm this may be written in polar form as 19.8286 ohm at an angle 52.5 degree let the mesh currents be i1 and i2 applying karshoff's voltage law from mesh 1 we get zr plus zy into i1 minus zy into i2 equals to vry 
using values we get 14.8858 at an angle 40 degree into I1 minus 10 at an angle 45 degree into I2 equals to 440 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. From mesh 2 we get minus ZY into I1 plus ZY plus ZB into I2 equals to VYB. Using values we get minus 10 at an angle 45 degree into I1 plus 19.8286 at an angle 52.5 degree into I2 equals to 440 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. We have obtained 14.8858 at an angle 40 degree into I1 minus 10 at an angle 45 degree into I2 equals to 440 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. Minus 10 at an angle 45 degree into I1 plus 19.8286 at an angle 52.5 degree into I2 equals to 440 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. By solving these two equations we get mesh currents I1 equals to 35.7303 ampere at an angle minus 71.2968 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 11.4575 minus J times 33.8435 ampere and I2 equals to 27.6673 ampere at an angle minus 132 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 18.5131 minus J times 20.5608 ampere. Let the line currents be IR, IY and IB. Here line current IR equals to I1 that is equal to 35.7303 ampere at an angle minus 71.2968 degree and IB equals to minus of I2 that is equal to 27.6673 ampere at an angle plus 48 degree. Here IY equals to I2 minus I1. Using values we get minus 29.9706 plus J times 13.2827 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 32.7821 ampere at an angle plus 156.0975 degree. For the network shown we have to determine the line currents. When it is fed from a symmetrical 208 volt 50 Hz 3 phase 3 wire AC supply with phase sequence ACB. Let us first write down the given values of load components. Per phase resistances R1 equals to 8 ohm, R2 equals to 10 ohm and R3 equals to 6 ohm. Inductance L1 equals to 19 milli Henry that is equal to 19 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry and capacitance C3 equals to 265.3 microfarad that is equal to 265.3 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Given supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Let us now calculate inductive reactance. XL1 equals to 2 pi F into L1. Using values we get 2 pi into 50 into 19 into 10 to the power minus 3. Which is approximately equal to 6 ohm. And capacitive reactance XC3 equals to 1 upon 2 pi F into C3. 
using values we get 1 upon 2 pi into 50 into 265.3 into 10 to the power minus 6 which is approximately equal to 12 ohm. Now we shall determine perfect load impedances. J D equals to R1 plus J times XL1. That is equal to 8 plus J times 6 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 10 ohm at an angle 36.8699 degree. Zb equals to R2 equals to 10 ohm. In polar form this may be written as 10 ohm at an angle 0 degree. And Zc equals to R3 minus J times Xc3. That is equal to 6 minus J times 12 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 13.4164 ohm at an angle minus 63.435 degree. Let us redraw this circuit in simplified form. Now we shall calculate Zd plus Zb using values we get 18 plus J times 6 ohm. In polar form this may be written as 18.9737 ohm at an angle 18.435 degree. And Zb plus Zc equals to 16 minus J times 12 ohm. In polar form this may be expressed as 20 ohm at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Given line to line supply voltage VL equals to 208 volts. Taking line voltage VAB as reference. For phase sequence ACB we can write line voltage VAB equals to VL at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 208 volts at an angle 0 degree. VBC equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 208 volts at an angle plus 120 degree. And VCA equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 208 volts at an angle minus 120 degree. We have obtained load impedance connected to B phase ZB equals to 10 ohm at an angle 0 degree. ZD plus ZB equals to 18.9737 ohm at an angle 18.435 degree and Zb plus Zc equals to 20 ohm at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Let the mesh currents be I1 and I2. Applying Kashyap's voltage law from mesh 1 we get Zd plus Zb into I1 minus Zb into I2 equals to Vab. Using values we get 18.9737 at an angle 18.435 degree into I1 minus 10 at an angle 0 degree into I2 equals to 208 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. From mesh 2 we get minus Zb into I1 plus Zb plus Zc into I2 equals to VBC. Using values we get minus 10 at an angle 0 degree into I1 plus 20 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into I2 equals to 208 at an angle plus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. We have obtained 18.9737 at an angle 18.435 degree into I1 minus 10 at an angle 0 degree into I2 equals to 208 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. And minus 10 at an angle 0 degree into I1 plus 20 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into I2 
equals to 208 at an angle plus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. By solving these two equations we get mesh current I1 equals to 8.35 ampere at an angle plus 7.886 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 8.271 plus J times 1.1456 ampere and I2 equals to 9.64 ampere at an angle plus 133.214 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 6.6 plus J times 7.0256 ampere. Let the line currents be IA, IB and IC. Here line current IA equals to I1 that is equal to 8.35 ampere at an angle plus 7.886 degree and IC equals to minus of I2. That is equal to 9.64 ampere at an angle minus 46.786 degree. Here IB equals to I2 minus I1. Using values we get minus 14.871 plus J times 5.88 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 16 ampere at an angle plus 158.426 degree. An unbalanced star connected load shown is fed by a symmetrical 110 volt 60 hertz 3 phase 3 watt supply. We have to determine the line currents when phase sequence is A, B, C. Let us first write down the values of load components. Resistance R1 equals to 16 ohm. Capacitance C2 equals to 133 microfarad. That is equal to 133 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. And inductance L3 equals to 27 millihenry. That is equal to 27 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. Given supply frequency F equals to 60 Hz. Let us now calculate capacitive reactance. Fc2 equals to 1 upon 2 pi F into C2. Using values we get. 1 upon 2 pi into 60 into 133 into 10 to the power minus 6. That is equal to 19.944 ohm. And inductive reactance XL3 equals to 2 pi F into L3. Using values we get 2 pi into 60 into 27 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is equal to 10.179 ohm. Now we shall determine per phase load impedances. Zd equals to R1 equals to 16 ohm. Zb equals to minus J times Xc2. That is equal to minus J times 19.944 ohm. And Zc equals to J times Xl3. That is equal to J times 10.179 ohm. Given values of line components, resistance R equals to 1 ohm and inductance L equals to 2 millihenry. That is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 henry. Let us now calculate inductive reactance. XL equals to 2 pi F into L. Using values we get 2 pi into 60 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is equal to 0 0.754 ohm. Expression for line impedance ZL equals to R plus J times XL. That is equal to 1 plus J times 0 0.754 ohm. Let us redraw the circuit in simplified form. Now we shall determine 
perfect net impedances zdt equals to zd plus zl using values we get 17 plus j times 0.754 ohm in polar form this may be written as 17. 0167 ohm at an angle 2.5396 degree zbt equals to zb plus zl using values we get 1 minus j times 19.19 ohm in polar form this may be written as 19.216 ohm at an angle minus 87.017 degree and zct equals to zc plus zl using values we get 1 plus j times 10.933 ohm in polar form this may be expressed as 10.9786 ohm at an angle 84.774 degree now we shall draw the circuit in concise form let us now calculate Z A T plus Z B T. Using values we get 18 minus J times 18.436 ohm. In polar form, this may be written as 25.766 ohm at an angle minus 45.6856 degree. And Z B T plus Z C T equals to 2 minus J times 8.257 ohm this may be written in polar form as 8.4958 ohm at an angle minus 76.384 degree given line to line supply voltage vl equals to 110 volts taking line voltage vab as reference for phase sequence abc we can write line voltage vab equals to vl at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 110 volts at an angle 0 degree vbc equals to vl at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 110 volts at an angle minus 120 degree and vca equals to vl at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 110 volts at an angle plus 120 degree we have obtained net impedance connected to b phase zbt equals to 19.216 ohm at an angle minus 87.017 degree Z A T plus Z B T equals to 25.766 ohm at an angle minus 45.6856 degree and Z B T plus Z C T equals to 8.4958 ohm at an angle minus 76.384 degree. Let the mesh currents be I1 and I2. Applying Kirchhoff's voltage law from mesh one, we get Z A T plus Z B T into I one minus Z B T into I two equals to V A B. Using values, we get twenty five point seven six six at an angle minus forty five point six eight five six degree into I one minus nineteen point two one six. At an angle minus 87.017 degree into I2 equals to 110 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number one. From mesh two we get minus Z B T into I1 plus Z B T plus Z C T into I2 equals to V B C. Using values we get minus 19.216. At an angle minus 87.017 degree into I1 plus 8.4958 at an angle minus 76.384 degree into I2 equals to 110 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number two. We have obtained 
25.766 that an angle minus 45.6856 degree into I1 minus 19.216 that an angle minus 87.017 degree into I2 equals to 110 at an angle 0 degree. This is our equation number 1. Minus 19.216 at an angle minus 87.017 degree into I1 plus 8.4958 at an angle minus 76.384 degree into I2 equals to 110 at an angle minus 120 degree. This is our equation number 2. By solving these two equations we get Mesh current I1 equals to 5.7191 ampere at an angle minus 151.4079 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 5.0216 minus J times 2.737 ampere and I2 equals to 13.2473 ampere at an angle minus 102.7795 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 2.9303 minus J times 12.919 ampere. Let the line currents be IA, IB and IC. Here line current IA equals to I1. That is equal to 5.7191 ampere at an angle minus 151.4079 degree. And IC equals to minus of I2. That is equal to 13.2473 ampere at an angle plus 77.2205 degree. Here IB equals to I2 minus I1. Using values we get 2.0913 minus J times 10.182 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 10.3946 ampere at an angle minus 78.3933 degree. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on 3 phase 3 wire AC systems. By solving these problems, we have learned how to determine line currents for a star-connected unbalanced load when it is fed from symmetrical three-phase three-wire AC source using mesh current analysis method. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.